my ninja warriors a very warm welcome to yet another session and i my name is namrata and i am your mathematics expert you know the agenda of this session how to achieve a perfect score in your upcoming board examination which is going to happen in 2024 right but before i start any further do let me know in the chat box whether i am perfectly audible and visible to you so that we can get going we can get into further details okay so i can see frank over here i can see chini over here all right i can see people joining in keep joining keep liking the session all right chandra hello welcome to the session am i audible please give me a big thumbs up if i am audible okay so first of all i am getting actually uh, so i have uh, scheduled this session and you know what i am getting a mixed mixed reactions some people are saying i am highly motivated because of these boards examination session but some people want to stick to their je main preparation so let me just tell you that uh, why uh, neglecting boards is a bad idea so very first and primary reason is apart from je other than je you have multiple reputed exams for example bitset which focus on uh, your 75 percentage criteria so once you neglect your board exam and then when you try to attempt such examination you get very disheartened that i am not able to like i am not eligible to attempt these kind of exams so that's why do not ever neglect your board examination it is uh, actually good to spare some hours of your day to your board examination and you know what one more thing which i have also faced when i was a student that whether to actually focus on je or boards right this is the uh, like a uh, uh, million dollar question these days okay ki how to make a balance between je and boards so first of all uh, let me tell you that if you start complete if you start uh, giving complete attention to your board examinations then while doing it you might feel a fomo of your je examination okay i am not able to get time for je and when you completely dedicate yourself to je examination you'll feel like okay i have board exam to prepare so it is actually good idea to spend some hours a few hours daily right for a few days we can do this exercise till we finish the syllabus so it is a good idea to spare few hours to your board examination preparation and rest of the day to your je exam pre pre preparation it will gi uh, give you a good confidence it will give you a sense of achievement that okay i am not leaving this completely and i am not leaving that completely as well right so that's why we need to actually focus on your boards exams as well all right okay 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 all right and one more thing one more thing i would like to tell you this year there is a good news for you achieving a perfect score is actually easier than previous year because uh we they have reduced cbsc has reduced the syllabus right now the reduced syllabus is so easy if you have prepared for your j examination cracking mathematics specially is absolutely easy for you it would be a cake walk for you right i'll show you the chapter wise uh, analysis as well in this video and uh, also out of all the subjects maths is one subject which is absolutely scoring subject if you do it right you will get full marks you all know that okay so let me just tell you about the uh, the revised pattern in case if you don't know it let me just show it to you that we have got a new pattern over here so in this new pattern we've got how many five sections are there you can clearly see that this is your section number 1 which has 18 mcq type question that is objective type question and two assertion reason type question so total 20 questions which each question carries one mark so it will give you 20 marks okay now section 2 five very short answer type question two marks each it will give you 10 marks again these will be very easy questions right now six short answer type question right this is relatively uh like this will be relatively lengthier or trickier than very short so it will carry 3 marks 6 3 is a 18 marks and then this is 5 mark question 4 5 mark question so this will give you 20 uh, 20 marks and this actually will be a longer questions it will take a few steps to complete the solution 
of mathematics of the questions and last this case study type question and you know what the last section case study so three case study type questions will be there each question will have four marks hai na so you know what this case study type question is something which are actually absolutely easy you go the, go to the previous year papers and you see you will realize that the questions are easy but you know what we are not familiar with solving this case study type questions that's why students end up losing marks even it even though it is easier than the rest of the sections okay so we are planning to take some sessions in which we will cover case study type questions as well let me just uh, yes uh, okay i can see rahul gupta is saying case study mein dikkat hai so he is saying ma'am uh, i have a problem in case study type questions and uh, trust me these questions are absolutely easy questions the problem is that you are not you have not done enough practice and it's in your mind okay i'm maybe i'm not able to solve it maybe i'm not able to understand the whole paragraph and you know what in mathematics the whole paper is based on confidence yes the whole paper is based on confidence the more confident confident you will be the more score you will uh, be able to score right and one more thing i would like to share that myself uh, class 10th in class 10th i got a perfect 100 score in my mathematics section perfect 100 score and board board examination class 10th you all know and class 12th i got a 98 out of 100 so at my time in my times so paper was uh, of 100 marks so 98 out of 100 and trust me if i'm saying this not as a teacher but you can uh, right now you can consider me as your senior and an experienced person that i was highly highly confident in class 10th mathematics 3 hour paper i finished in almost 1 hour 1 hour 15 minutes i have finished the complete paper i was uh, absolutely confident because my practice was on point in class 12th also i was about to achieve a perfect score but one question Uh, made me actually uh, so uh, did some i did some mistake because of the nervousness and hence i achieved 98 so i am telling you the whole paper is based on confidence and where you will derive confidence by practicing so what to do next let me just tell you so first of all the the whole weightage breakup so first you can see relations and functions so in relations and functions you have got three chapters three portions i would say relations then you have functions and then you have itf as well and it will carry 8 marks okay and relation if i talk about relations and functions you all know if you have studied for your j this relation and function will be cake work for you okay now algebra so algebra has matrices and determinant come on this is one of the scoring chapters in your j main as well and in your uh, boards as well matrices and determinant so i will highly highly recommend to finish this chapter first right so this will give you 10 marks very easy if you are not uh, doing calculation mistakes okay then we have calculus now can you see the very high weightage of calculus but high weightage comes with multiple chapters also so you have got conti- oh what happened okay okay yes uh, so let me just take this comment ma'am if i'll do case study properly then uh, i will score full definitely please okay acha so noted rahul gupta i also agree with you because this is some this is one section which might scare some people so i will take the i'll keep this in mind i'll bring one session completely on case study okay give me some time all right okay calculus mein you know continuity and differentiability aod this is differential calculus now in integral calculus you have the complete integration and then application of integration and then you have differential equations but you know what this calculus you have already did, done in j if not also no then i'm going to teach you do not worry i'm going to take a session on complete calculus from scratch okay all right then vector and 3d geometry now vector and 3d geometry ncrt level is extremely easy if you have a little bit knowledge of j as well no so this will also be a cake work for you and they have reduced the syllabus so you will be like ma'am this is becoming very very easy okay very very smooth and then linear programming so this chapter though this whole chapter you can finish in 3 to 4 hours 
okay so we'll do this chapter as well and then probability is something which you cannot take lightly because there are some students who will be like probability will take it lightly no this is one chapter this chapter will give you eight marks okay so we will cover whole syllabus we will not leave any chapter and we will not focus on any chunk there are some student who will be like calculus 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 35 marks because 35 marks is uh, taken by calculus so we'll focus only on calculus 80 percent they are giving time to calculus but can you see calculus has these huge chapters as well right so rest rest of the chapter carry 45 marks calculus carry 35 marks so we will divide the time equally all right what should be the sources so you all know that ncrt is something which you need to first the first priority should be ncrt just sit and finish all the chapters of ncrt because 80 percent will be there from ncrt and then once you are done with ncrt and uh, maybe you have a target score in your mind maybe i want to score 75 maybe i want to score 80 maybe i want to score 70 plus based on that based on what time you want to give what effort you want to invest so ncrt exemplar is also one thing which uh may give you a, a boost score a score boost basically and if i get time so we will be solving important questions from exemplars as well i am gonna take one session from this if i get time and let's not forget 10 years pyq so if you do this now plus 10 years pyqs if you do this you will easily get 70 plus marks from doing this but if you want to score a perfect score if you want to achieve a perfect score do i need to tell you every time i tell you in j also i tell you uh boards also i'm telling you and upcoming bits that uh, will uh, i also will i will also tell you that give mock 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 hashtag mock in the chat box mock is something which every exam require okay if you want to master in each exam now mock is something which you have to give okay all right so yes all right clear yes so let me just share you tomorrow 2 pm we have a class on relation and function so relation and function carries eight marks right so we will do relation and function tomorrow 2 pm okay you can see uh, and it is scheduled on youtube right it, it is absolutely free then so this is tomorrow that is tuesday and then on wednesday 1 pm okay i am getting complete calculus that means 35 marks from this session that's why i have shifted this session from 2 pm to 1 pm because i'm gonna take some time in calculus this will be a smaller session but calculus session will be a big session and then on thursday we have matrices and determinant that is algebra okay so this is again uh, 1 pm right again 1 pm and the uh, rest chapters will be doing friday and saturday as well okay all right clear now there must be some students who might be thinking ma'am i to want to do some structured ekdam structured preparation so here is something for you people that we are running a crash course which has already started from 2nd Feb, 2nd Feb was the, was, was the first day of the batch. So, 2nd to 17th, we are doing J preparation. 3 lectures per day, right? So, total 36 lectures in this duration. Then we are doing in phase 2. So, in phase 2, we are doing uh, CBSE board preparation because you have board. So, we will halt our J preparation, right? And we will do phase 2, uh, basically board preparation. Can you see 4 lectures per day, marathon revision session. Then we will resume our J preparation because we have second attempt coming. We will be having so 10th March to 26th March J preparation again. You can see 64 lectures, 3 lectures per day. So total 144 lectures you will be getting. Okay. So link is given and let's not forget mock, 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 mock. So from 25th March to 4th April, you can give 10 mock test, test and uh, you'll be given with paper discussions as well link is given in the description box any questions any confusion please do let me know in the chat box okay all right okay 
सो आई मीट यू टुमोरो टू पी एम विथ रिलेशन एंड फंक्शंस दिस इज मी नम्रता साइनिंग ऑफ इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट बॉक्स एंड बिफोर गोइंग लेट मी जस्ट please show me something that you are highly motivated for your board examinations so do write hashtag mission 80 on 80 in the chat box and in comment section as well so yes mission 80 on 80 okay so let me write down hashtag mission 80 on 80 because i am to all prepped up i am all charged up right to begin tomorrow's session the whole week is dedicated to board exam preparation okay